how are you doing, man? I'm doing good. Doing how about you? I'm well. I'm well. Just uh, just just trying to exist and do the do the life things, man. Those are always the fun. <laughs> it's always fun going through that. Yep. But yes, we are. It is. Yes, we're live here, everybody. We got Sean again. You know, clown the legend himself from Slipknot. And dude, yeah, it's 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 been cool because I mean, I've been listening to you guys since since I was a kid. So it's great to, to see you guys just evolve as a band over the years. And I've just I definitely have a few questions, you know, in terms of things. But I definitely have to start by asking. How much do you actually play Minecraft? Well, honestly, that's why I'm I'm doing this today. You know, it starts with you growing up with us, okay? So, number one, in 93, 91, whenever it was, I'm <clears throat> even a little bit before that, I'm playing Wolfenstein, Doom, into Quake, into all these kinds of things. So, moving forward, I have four children. Right. And all four kids played Minecraft in a way that you can't comprehend. Okay. One of my, my oldest boy would make aircraft carriers that were miles long. I mean, just, I, I can't even explain. They would make slip knot stages. Wow. They would make explosions. And um, I would always watch and I would support it. And I always gave them, um, you know, the computers and things to play. I thought it was really um, safe game. Um, you know, you always got to worry about people being online with mass amounts of people. You got to worry yeah. about that kind of stuff. So I always had to be around to monitor, uh, my children playing, but my fascination came with watching my own children play Minecraft. And I never really got it for myself and I I'd mess around with them. And then I started to, uh, invent games um uh the big square guys i would dig holes and i'd build mazes and the first square guy to fall loses and we'd have some dinner on the bet you know what i mean right. so we'd sit there for hours and just drop them and finally one would go and you know that's kind of my introduction because i was so fascinated watching my kids but i'm going to be honest with you I've wanted to make a video game my whole career. Oh. And as you know, uh, it's a lot of money. And the reason why it's a lot of money is because it's a lot of hours and developing. And, um, you know, a lot of people just don't know that stuff, uh, that, that there's just so much time behind what you're looking at yeah. to make things run correctly in a, in a, in a weird world. Right. So, <clears throat> I'm very interested always in coding and stuff. And the only thing that I didn't continue when I started the band was like doing websites. So I continued in Photoshop and mm -hmm. Premiere and things of the artistic nature, but I couldn't keep up with the flash and the, uh, the HTML and everywhere that it went. I just couldn't keep up because we were touring. So then unity came around and everyone came together and made that, that organization unity and my tech uh introduced it to me he's really good at that stuff and we started making a world and i bought a world creator and i basically wanted to make my own deathmatch world so one you need to know all of this has come because of deathmatch period okay. story it's is that your favorite type of game mode, like deathmatch versus like you know last man stand like what, what yeah is that your go-to for video games that's why I'm like telling you, like when, when you were a kid, hmm. I was deathmatching, capturing the flag. <laughs> and, and, but the bigger story is this. I'll keep it real quick. When Quake put, when Quake came out, it was in OpenGL. And, you know, we were all like, oh my God, we could get our hands on this stuff. So, for instance, there's a rocket launcher and it shoots so many rockets a certain way. So the fans learned to take the Rottweiler hmm. that was one of the very first bots that would follow you. Okay. So it's very scary that you're now entering a game where a bot, you run around the wall and this thing's following you mathematically, of course, right? right. But that was a evolution to a game, the game. So what did kids, what did fans do? They got in the, you know, the, the terminal, whatever the console got in, <clears throat> replaced the rockets, 
with um, Rottweilers. Hmm. So you're shooting Rottweilers, and you can shoot <laughs> seven at a time, I believe. <laughs> okay. That's how much it held. Okay. And all of them were bots that would stay on you to they either killed you or you killed them. Right. They just kept jumping up at you. So my best friend would run by, and I would just unload a rocket launcher full of Rottweilers, and I would just watch him from afar with seven Rottweilers <laughs> jumping up and down, and he can't move. You know, right. He's trying to get out. He's, the next thing, he's just got to shut down, die or shut it down. Computers are not fast. Things are working very good online. Right. So that was my fascination. And then, of course, you learn how to rocket launch yourself up. Mm. Okay. So what happened was we would rock our launch. You know, we would jump up using these rockets and would shoot us up. Mm. And then you'd be up there and there'd be things up there. And you, you would have the epiphany that these guys knew you were going to be up there. Right. But they didn't allow you to be up there. They waited until you got the open GL and went in and did it yourself. And that was the beginning of all of it for me, that we as a united culture of gamers and people that needed that sort of like recluseness of, and imagination, stimulation, musically, visually, you know, storyline, <laughs> rewards, grinding. <clears throat> So moving forward, I, be, I became obsessed with World of Warcraft. Oh, um, that I know one. a lot. I know a lot of people that develop in there. And you playing classic? Yeah. Um, well, listen, my best friend started on it okay. and did, did started on it, and then you know I'd make fun of him, and but it was really because I was interested, you know. Hmm. And I finally got on it when you could level up to 120, I think it was. Oh, yeah. So I, I never did the classic, classic, the hard, hard, hard. Right. I, Vanilla back my brain, day. My brain wouldn't be able to do it. I'm I'm not that patient. That breaks stuff. <laughs> I mean, even um, classic, when they re it's it's still a patient game. That takes forever. Well, it's, it's the real. It's off the real. Yeah. You know? So, so anyway, you know, I'm not, I'm not saying anything bad about World of Warcraft, but World of Warcraft becomes one of these obsessions where i'm grinding for reward but it's not tangible right okay it's not there's no fulfillment i, I might spend some money on it and it's it's ridiculous for me when i have to do things on a bigger scale for me to to feel good about myself right so let's just skip forward okay. created a world in unity boom okay. how many hours do i play of minecraft so when COVID hit and we finally went back on the road, mm. I was already deep into my world. And the way I got into it finally was I got involved in an NFT project okay. dealing with Minecraft. So I got in because of the NFT, obsessed with that stuff, learning. The fulfillment was you got a you got a plot mm. all the way up, all the way down. And I just got obsessed and I started building a world based off of artistic schizophrenia. <laughs> so when you ask me, when you ask me today, how many hours you could ask anybody that works with me or for me or in the band, hmm. I would get up and I would probably play the nft minecraft i'd probably play it 18 hours a day oh my goodness that's because i start building right and I start building for our fans mm -hmm. i start building immediately for our culture right. so i could bridge a gap for the young minds the old minds that love stuff like minecraft and if they're not familiar with slipknot i could Maybe they would see a sense of my art in something I built mm -hmm. and they would be like, I can smell this scratch. I can taste it. Feels like it. Right. And this would be a way for me to show them like the artisticness of where I go as a person. This is more me than anybody. Mm -hmm. um, but it's just a way of showing like everything I do. So mm -hmm. what it became was I made this world and I was probably, then it got to be about 12 hours. Now, the reason why I was playing so much is because in the NFT world, I was getting paid coin for being on. Right. 
So while I was playing, I was earning. Okay. You, you follow? I'm following you. Oh, yeah. Okay. So I was like receiving in both ways. And you couldn't be on. If you were stagnant for three minutes, they kicked you off. Oh, so I had like to a specific. Off. It's like a specific yeah. um, you like run service. You have to move. Okay. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. The, 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 <clears throat> I debated whether I'm going to talk about it or not, but it doesn't matter because I still like it or whatever. I still own it. I'd still like to see it go. The The NFT project was called Critters. Critters, okay. Critters. And it was it was really going good in the beginning, you know, and then I don't know. I want to say, I don't think Minecraft uh, likes NFTs. So I think that, that might have been. Yeah. Well, I know I nowadays know, with with NFTs, especially like in in the music world, it seems more chill. But it, it, when it started to go into like the influencer space with YouTubers and streamers, it, there was a lot of right. a lot of you you know uh, influencers took advantage of that, and then it gave it a very yeah. bad rap. So I know in the music it's, scene, even you know when people start mentioning that word, it's like, uh, oh, what's going on here? You know, I think I think it's you know it got a bad rap. It still does. People will come around and they'll understand. You know, but we need righteous nft projects but i've always believed that the nft's got to be more tangible for reality right so that's what i why i got obsessed so moving forward i just kept grinding and i started making this world and and it's my brain right so it, when you're walking around you're like what is this and you're like but <laughs> i made it so then you understand you're like well he made it yeah. so I'm sort of understanding because right. it feels like everything I do. Do you have any little in the world like Slipknot breadcrumbs and stuff like that lying around for people to? Well, so, so I got to a point where no one was showing up there and I was spending money and making coin. And I was like, this isn't what I want to bridge a gap with people that don't know the band yet. Mm hmm or bridge the gap for people that know the band that need to know more about this game. Like I've learned through my oldest is 30. Mm -hmm. My youngest, you know, is 20. I mean, these kids, my kids played Minecraft since it came out. Right. You know what I mean? I've, I can't tell you how many hours I watched my children be creative, mm -hmm. you know, and one of my children has passed and she, she played a lot, man, you know, and a lot of this is for her too. Like I have a dedication to her in here. So I don't want to give it away. Right. And I'm interested because, you know, when you were talking about it, it's it's exactly what it is. You know, it's a kind of random. Right. So mm -hmm. moving forward, I got frustrated and I said, look, I'm done with this. Someone tell me something. So then people were talking. And then I, I at one time I asked some people involved with critters. I'm like, why don't you just sell it to me? Mm, OK. And meaning like I'll. I'll put my socials on it and maybe get it going. But the point is, is I, I just think the business of it's hard. Right. And they're like, they're really proud of their server. So I was like, screw it. I called somebody and I said, I want a server. And they said, you can absolutely have one. And I, at that time I hadn't really remembered that I could own my own server. Right. So I bought a server and when, when it said the team of developers, that team is like my daughter, um uh an uh, a couple assistants that work for me as techs on stage develop these are like what i consider my culture gotcha so i'm not working with anybody that's not part of the naughty and way naughty and way and, and this excuse is not me for, yeah this isn't for anybody outside like anybody's got a problem they can just go <laughs> and we'll make them go oh this isn't for anybody but my you culture, can kick them right? from the server literally no, no, we'll get to that. We'll get to that. <laughs> yes. we'll, we'll get to that. Remind, remind me to talk about that. Yeah. Do you have, remind, you got, do you have rules yet? Like specific? Well, let me get, let me, I know I'm taking a long time, but I'm trying to give you everything. And when right. you're done, you'll be like, whoa, I didn't get to talk once, but he told me everything. Okay. Do your thing. Yes. I'm almost done. Gotcha. So what happened was I got a, I got a server and then someone told me that within Minecraft, you have the ability to make a schematic of your build and move it around onto your own server. So I took the, the nice people of critters were awesome. And they gave me the ability to take all of my build that I made there, which was like 
17 or 20 plots I bought. I bought this big middle finger. Oh. I bought these plots that looked like me giving the middle finger or the metal horn. And stuff. It was funny. Right. It was a good time, man. Mm -hmm. I was having a great time. Like they have this giant map. You have to buy plots. People were earning coin to buy plots, but it was, I, I was on so much. I had so much loot that I could just buy plots. Right, right. And no one was working as hard as I was. So um, I moved everything over to my server, and then the schiz artistic schizophrenia went bonkers. <laughs> because instead of moving everything together, I put something over here, and I put something over there. Aww. So this, I'm going to invite you after this conversation. I'm going to invite you into my dome. Oh my God. I'm going to invite you. So what's happening is this. I want to make something very clear. Minecraft is a wonderful, beautiful, artistic expression that gives you a lot of tools to allow different scenarios. Like, they give you a rail system. Right, yeah. So what I'm saying is, whether you like the way it looks or you don't like the way it looks, it doesn't matter. You can throw rail down with a cart, get in it, and it'll... Mm -hmm. You know? That's badass. Like, yeah. for me to make a video game, we're talking about millions of dollars in years, and I'm 54... And it's just not happening. So Minecraft's mm -hmm. given me the ability to make Vern Earth, which everyone will understand later because I'm giving you the tools to understand where I come from. Right. I come from, you know, Wolfenstein. I come from Doom, 1 and 2, Quake, you know, Rampa Rampage, Redneck Rampage, Duke Nukem. Duke Nukem. Uh, Let's not forget, I have a box. I have an original Atari promo box in my stu uh, studio, unopened. Oh, they wow. go for like 10 bills, I think. I, it goes with my modular synth on stage. I play Asteroids. Why? Because I was there when it came out. You you were <laughs> still maybe a thought in someone's livelihood, okay? In reality, I was playing Asteroids, Pong, all this Pong and all this crazy stuff. So. Like so, while on stage, you're throwing that just as the side. I do weird stuff, man. I got modulars and stuff. And this big thing I'm making is like this mm -hmm. spaceship. And I'll be able to play with fans. And I used to film fans while they were watching. So I'm always trying to incorporate into what the future is anyway. Right. Put my own spin on it. That's really like cool. this is what Clown does with AI. This is what Clown does with a server. This is, you know, I, I, don't, I don't want any of this other bullshit. But anyway... So what it is, is this. Let's make it very clear for everyone. All right. Recently, I was told my vision is too big. And every time I get on the phone, I want things. And they haven't even completed the things that they can't get done yet. In your Minecraft so, server. so Yeah, because okay. it's developing. It's huge, right? We've been working on, I've been working on it four years by myself. And I've had developers that are family that I've hired builders and developers come in for two, two and a half years. And basically last week I was like, what, what are we doing and what can we do? And they basically said, look, man, this, well, actually this was like a month ago. They said, we, we should go into an alpha stage where we invite so many people to come in. And what will happen is they'll come in and we'll let them break everything and then we can really just hone in on what needs to be done. And because when you see my world, it's just, it's not right. It's not, it's not, it's not, it's scary. It's escape from New York. It's brutal. Oh. It's like, I've made a dome. The whole thing is about my dome okay. and my dome. I don't want to spoil it, but I want to invite you to come in with me. Thank you. I'd love to make you a staff member. We can fly. I'll show Let's you around. Go. Let's go, man. You know, I'll show you around, throw some block, but I can just show you. I want to show you. <laughs> I want to show you because, because I want you, I want, look, I want to bridge this gap, man. I'm 54. I'm in Slipknot. But what? I didn't play games. Mm -hmm. I don't love games. Most of my guys are on Call of Duty all the time. They're always buying new systems right. on the airplanes. They got people all over the world they talk to. Me, I'm a death matcher, man. I'm a camper. I'm waiting for you to blow your brains out around the corner in a death match game. That's why I built the whole thing. I got you. I just wanted to bring back old school death match and then have tangible reward. Right. So you asked me earlier, are there slipknot things? So the most wonderful thing that I can do 
is I can take the awkwardness of someone who may not know what Slipknot is and make it very private for them where they're earning their love of Minecrafting. So you get a chest, you open it up, you, there's a note, you read the note, it says email this with this code. You write the office, you're like, I got this note, it's got this code on it, the office says you won backstage passes. That's cool. So I got coin being made, you're gonna be able to earn the coin, go to the merch stand, tap the phone, MetaMask, boop, boop. You know, I, I, I like the future, but I wanna harness it our way. Right, community way. Forcing it, I'm not forcing anybody to, to believe in crypto or NFTs if they don't want to, but I'm also trying to bridge a gap where like, you need to go with change or change leaves you behind. So this is the clowner fucking doing some of this stuff. Mm -hmm. Like this is me playing with crypto. This is me playing with NFTs. This is me giving you fulfillment. Right. So let's not worry about these, these apes over here, mm -hmm. come over here and come to a show and meet me, you know, buy this piece of art. That's huge. Print it, hang it on your wall because I would have sold you that anyway. And then take these two backstage passes and come learn what Slipknot is. And I'll even give you a parking and you come in and learn and maybe you fall in love with this culture and we're here for you. And maybe you teach me how to build a castle with my kid, you know, because right. we're doing it together. So my daughter, my oldest, when I fly you around, you'll see these huge Slipknot logos. She built them because her mom taught her how to um, stitch. Mm -hmm. And when you stitch, you use these patterns with squares and you count and that's how you get your colors so you can apply those pieces of paper to minecraft you can write slipknot on a stitching square and you can know exactly how many squares to go throw a block right so this family thing um now i'm going to be very serious and i know i'm all over the place a, a very 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 majority of why i'm doing this is for behavioral health okay for mental health. Uh, because A, I found that when I got up and I got to live in the imagination of the world I wanted to make, I had a lot of reward there. And I made myself a promise that I'm going to throw this block. I'm going to make some weird villager town. And then I'm going to go work out because the show's the most important and then I'm going to take a nap and then I'm going to spend an hour and a half calling all my family and then I'm going to read a chapter in a book and I'm going to be very like I'm going to try and do real things for myself right to offset playing it playing a game yeah and what I found was that all the people that I would work with that I have made friends with from around the world that are helping me that I've met through critters and other places that are literally helping me build right now. They have all instructed me that they need it because they need somewhere to go. And they love the ability to be able to, on a different level, speak with me on a creative level and have a reward of doing something together that even I have to learn from you on and then you can see my progress as the clown building a glass building or right. I'm trying to build all these automated things that just blow me away with redstone. I can't comprehend it. And it just <laughs> makes me love the game. But yeah. so what I'm saying is there's a majority of people that will tell you that, you know, they need video games, things like this to help them in this ongoing, ever pushing world of the stress of fake news, real news, all the socials, mm -hmm. the validation, the non-validation. I'm old school, so I can help a little bit with that. And I can harness Minecraft in the ability to have people come in and learn an old way, which is, hey, you're on that team. I'm on this team. We're going to do some capture the flag for 18 hours. Whoever right. did it the most wins. And everybody gets to come to the show. I send everybody a T-shirt. Or what I'm first going to do is, when you come into the game, if you want to call it a game, there's a spawning point. Mm -hmm. And then I've made it where there's some things. And then you go out into the oblivion. And that's where you get to just be Minecraft. You get to build, go do your world, make alliances, play the game. I have right. nothing to do with it. Right. And you I... just go, go out into the seed I made. It's endless. Right. And 20 years from now, we'll see what we all build out there. But soon 
the dome will be open and the dome's never going to be completed because it's uncompletable. Right. Because every time I, I see something, I do something else and it's just a mess. So that's the death match world. And that's where my castle is. Okay. And I'm going to do 24 hour death matches. So you can go with your friends 24 and hours. whoever has, who's ever name has the most kills frags, right. you know, old school frags. frags by the end of 24 hours. Could be five hundred bucks. Could be ten thousand bucks. Could be a thousand. I haven't decided yet. That's. But this is gonna be. This is a real thing because no one's gonna make fun of this, bro. Because I grew up on games, right? And my generation developed games and made games, and your generations are able to like take them in a way I would never even understand. Right. But I was at the root root technology. And that's why there's going to be money involved. I just I work with video games all the time where Slipknot once in a while gets invited. Mm -hmm. And I went over to the Smite world. They invited me to their compound. And I'm going to tell you what, man. I walked in and they had all these freezers and they let all the people that come there work at home, come in once a week, mm -hmm. grab all the groceries for a week for free, go home and just do what they do because that's what they do in life. And I almost had a tear because I'm like, you know how many people you help to offer this sort of line of work? Just like, it was amazing. And it really inspired me to say, whoa, mm -hmm. I could probably get out there with everyone again and run around and capture the flag. And people yeah. see, I'm not that very, I'm not that good at stuff. <laughs> but, well, and, and but to, I love it. to that too, I mean, I, I, I grew up in the lucky generation of still like going outside was a thing. Um, but also you'd then, you'd then go inside, you know, you'd go to Blockbuster, maybe rent a game or something, or you'd go on your computer, open up MSN in the background, see who, see who's around and you'd open up like Counter-Strike. You know what I mean? That's kind of that age of growing up with that. And then my, I remember Minecraft coming in and that was a big thing. And wow, too. Wow. was a very big thing that gave a lot of people an escape as a video game. And it was, it's a beautiful thing and something I still play to this day. Um, if, if I could build in World of Warcraft, I mean, I mean, I'm not trying to discredit anyone. If I could build, and I had those tools, right? I, I, I would. But they, they, it frustrates me. You know, I, I've met with them at you know, um, BlizzCon and stuff, right? And you know, I mess with them, you know, because I'm just like, <laughs> you know, because I get mad, man, because like I grew up with coding, okay? Gotcha. I grew up with this stuff, and I get mad because when I'm in front of the when I'm in front of the auction house and there's an orc that's standing in front of the mailbox and he's too big <laughs> and I'm like, what's up, bro? And he doesn't talk. And then he goes and makes his little maneuver that some developer had to program. He's going to go over <laughs> here. And he sits there for a while and you go over there and you're like, got any gold for me? You got a, you got a mount for me. Right. Do you talk? Can you do anything but this? So the thing is, is that game is so big. They could never shut that game down. In my opinion, right. They could, shut that game down and reprogram -pro that bot gotcha. to once a month give you gold so i was like you know what i'm just gonna do it did you did you raid so, in wow were you a raider were you uh were you just oh, I, I, everything. everything i mean i i again i'm not the best player and i'm not the smartest player but my kids are hmm. my son is the psychopath my best friend and my son, hmm. my son's so good. Like we'll go into a dungeon, do stuff and raids and he'll steal what I win. Somehow he'll get my stuff. <laughs> and then three months later, he'll tell me, oh yeah, I've been stealing your, your shit. You want a mount? I got it. I'm like what? What are you even talking about? How do you do that? Whatever. But I do love World of Warcraft, but hmm. not on, their, not on their right. fault because we'll play it for the rest of my life. But I end up spending a little bit more money than I want for what the reward is in my head and what gotcha. the reward is. I would like to be, I would like to be spending the time for all of us in the culture of the knot yes. to where a safe place has been made. That's artistic. And I, I, I know that people are going to come in and go when people, when, when, when it's all right now, it's mm -hmm. breakable. It's BS. I need these hundred people or so to go yeah. in and just go, what's your problem? You need this, this, yeah. this. Well, the community is a big aspect of especially building community based things. And I'm sure whenever you get that open, you know, and if, if it's a pretty open thing that mostly anybody can get into, like 
you'll probably wake up one day and see entire cities built that are dedications, you know, to, to that world and Slipknot. And even, even with all that, I I definitely have some questions too, right? Because I, I love the idea of how you you tell me. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah. You asked me going out. You, I've touched on, I've touched a little bit. Mm -hmm. It's too big to explain to you without you being there and me going, here's this part of it here. So there's like five parts, Okay. you know, and there's only one that's open and then, they'll mag it out right and unleash and start breaking but eventually real soon here they're going to get to go to the oblivion mm. and that's outside of spawning oh that's when you just get to play right <laughs> and that's just the regular minecraft experience you can get killed out there right. it's not safe you got to hide your shit or make alliances and it's just the reg you don't have to acknowledge slipknot you don't have to live Mm. this world it's just regular minecraft server you're gonna see me and then everything else is a little more dedicated and when and when the word slipknot is used you have to understand it's just that my participation in the band is more of an artistic participation and that's what i'm doing with this like there were guys in the band like craig this is what we did we i mean craig made craig made doom and Quake characters 25 years ago right. or whatever it was. I mean, I had a clown, blue coveralls. We ran around That's with death match, people, death, mass, death match people all the time. Right. We had a whole Slipknot thing. We played music. We we played this uh, offset thing called Pain Keep. And it was the funnest, man, because people, they had this cube that you could throw out and it would, it would suck you in. It was a warping thing. And if you threw it in a pool, you could tread water and watch people right. just get stuck slowly because of water. <laughs> you just laugh, you know, you're just watching your friend while you're talking to him on the phone. It's fun, yeah. Like, I'm watching, yeah, good stuff. But anyway, yeah. go ahead now. Let's spend time you asking me everything. <laughs> well, yeah, because with all, and obviously I, you, you can, you're very passionate about this. You can tell again, myself being, I, I've been a gamer since I was a kid. I arguably was a gamer more than actually a musician or any of this stuff. Um, and I love seeing <laughs> your passion with it. And I love thinking of the idea of, okay, here's a big universe, especially when I like, I saw the flyer, I was like, this is so random, but I'm like, that's cool. Like, you know, I, I haven't played Minecraft in a minute. I used to play a bit and you know, you know, you get as far as like killing like Enderman or something and you're like, okay, did I win? I don't know what happened, but you build your bases, you have fun. And it's, you know, it's something you can literally sit there and 12 hours go by, you, you don't know. Again, I grew up playing WoW, Minecraft, all that stuff too. And with you know. that and seeing your passion within the artistic, you know, thing to build this big, world on the i guess other side of things too because myself too i don't understand as much the N- nft world and all that and i like I said, you hear that word and it's like this ah you know like because you can have a beautiful gaming world and then you hear the word you know you hear the word money or nft or this stuff or like battle packs even with stuff like fortnite and people get scared including you know myself when you hear those words because it's well, it's like me too me it's, too it's one of those things of nft in the sense of like people expect okay you have this digital piece of art you buy and you don't know what happens to it why am i paying for a piece of digital thing that someone can screen print or is it more in this sense again trying to understand this this world of like you just play the game and you can win cool slipknot stuff or like yeah. related i mean let, let let's break it down to zero the bottom line is the way i've done it because it costs money to make it and it's going to cost money because there's more bad people that want to mess around with video games than there are good people. Mm-hmm. So you have to have a team constantly monitoring safety for the well-being of everyone. And I'm talking about prejudice. I'm talking about bullying. Right. I won't tolerate it. it and so I have to have a team of people mm-hmm. that monitor that 24 hours a day and also make sure no one is hacking it in these things because it's a it's a target so it costs so here's the deal the way i believe we're breaking it down is you you're going to be able to come in and choose your involvement so the involvement is this for mental health and for me and for you and for the love of reward of building and vibrant colors and mathematical equations on uh, electrical motherboards that we're playing with visually. Right. You can do it for free. You can sign on, spawn okay. in an area, run out a door. You'll see a thing that says, beware, you're, you're entering oblivion. Mm-hmm. 
-hmm. And basically oblivion is mind crap. When you're out there, you're on your own. I can't do anything about it. You're building castles, you're underground, you're meek and friends, but it's the regular game. So you got looters that are part of the game right. coming over, skeletons, spiders. You got some jerk that's over here coming over here trying to steal your block you got to take out. Right. It's regular Minecraft. Okay, because that's something I think a lot regular. of people would question instantly, again, including oh. myself, is like uh, you're creating this – and it sounds really cool. Again, I'm a fan of Slipknot, a fan of what you do, and here like, oh, like a cool – You and I just got to work it out. You we, just we'll, need to we'll, know yeah. what's going on. Exactly, yeah. So that's why I think just that clarification, understanding too of, okay, here's a really cool place. You could go es escape, that's play right. – Minecraft, be with a community yeah. of, of people you can relate to and have fun with, right? And play a sick game. Yeah. Is there going to be an entry to Barry or just to, you know, borderline start playing the game or be a part of that community that you have to spend some sort of money or even, let's say, even know the word NFT? Because, again, that is a thing which I guess NFT's bands are doing. NFT's not part of this. Yeah. NFT's not part of this. It was okay. how I got into it. Okay. 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 Got you. You know, with Critters, uh, I had some financial people say, hey, here's a really good company doing some really good thing with coin and stuff like that. I was like, I'll go check it out because I'm learning gotcha. and I need to know these things. Um, so, so when you sign on, you'll, you'll start in a big Island, let's say, and it's the spawning world. Mm -hmm. And there's a lot there. There's, there's things there. It's like mm -hmm. a not fest festival. Basically cool. there's, tents, there's things, but there's a couple exits right away. You just walk right out and go to your world. And that's Minecraft. That's it. Right. It's got none of the slip, not none. You're just out there for free on my server. Mm. I'm supplying you a safe place where we can all hang mm. and be alike. Like you love Slipknot. I love Slipknot. You love Minecraft. I love it. You have kids that maybe build it. I do too. I'm on here, hopefully with my grandson one day, you know, blah, blah, blah. Now, the other experiences are, um, you know, we haven't, it's not even a thing to me to worry about these things, but because it costs, you have to do it. So one of the tiers will be basically where you go to my dome mm -hmm. and that's strictly deathmatch and capture the flag. It's so big. Right. It doesn't matter if you think, you know, you don't know anything. Because I'm crazy with this. So one day I just decide I'm going to do a tunnel system. Okay. And I stay on that for a month. Because oh. I'm nuts. <laughs> yeah. You ask me how many hours I play. I'm not exaggerating, man. You could ask my wife. You mm. could ask people in the band how obsessed I got for four years. After COVID, mm. I just found it really good for me on the bus. Mm. I got my iMac set up. It's on at all times. I come on I'm like, I'm going to build my castle for everyone, you know? So I built a castle with nine heads where we meet. And Do the guys from the band play as well, like Minecraft or join, like once in a while? or So I couldn't tell you who does or doesn't because we really haven't. I told you this is more my thing. Right, yes. Um, but 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 what I, I'm trying to get it done for everyone to be interested in it because – like you know, like Sid, he'll he'll come in and scratch in one of my buildings. He'll be there, you know, meeting people, and you know, I'm making it so the band, if they're interested, can get in there, and I'm sure they will, and we'll do a performance. Or, I mean, it's gonna, it's just so nuts that I had to just go. You know what? No one's gonna like it because it's so disorganized. But they're going to love it so much, the potential. They're going to help us get it going quickly. Yeah. So these 100 people are going to be able to rip it down in the philosophy, and we're going to be able to help yeah. fix it quickly and get us on that page. So the paying part will be come to the Dome. Maybe I'm offering money for this week's death match or capture the flag, or maybe it's tickets, or maybe it's a signed album or – it's whatever we want to do or what people okay. are requesting. Right. But on the inside of the dome, while you're running around, there's shit everywhere. Right. Okay, that's cool. Because well, like, that sounds like, more like competition competition and like competitive, like almost like you know, signing up for like tournaments and stuff like that, which is which is Okay, so let's what I would call it is I would call it a tournament. Okay. So I would say this week's tournament is a 24-hour death match. 
your single name, if it has the most frags in 24 hours, you win this. Right. And the prizes are going to vary. It's, I'm definitely going to put my own money up on it. Right. Because I love this so much. Mm -hmm. And I, and I want to help people. Yeah. Well, that that's, again, that's, that's very cool. A, di a different perspective because again, especially now in the day and age of gaming where, Again, as a gamer, I'm sure you know too, you see a game and it's been in alpha for five years, you know what I mean? And you're like, and it's like out and people are buying it and they're like, what is, what is this? What's going on? You know what I mean? Or there's like seven different battle passes to be able to just like hit W on your keyboard. You know what I mean? Like, and if it's something that is a passion project, which obviously I can see very clearly it is, you know, and creating this really cool community and world, it's good to know that, okay, there can be a safe place where the gaming world, and if you're a Slipknot fan or not, you can go and hang out and have fun. It starts with that. Yeah. It's that, most importantly, it's that first and yeah. foremost, because that's what my kids did. Right. That's what I still do. I still get bored and go start a whole new seed and build something, and then go, what the hell am I doing? I need to go back and finish what I've done, but I've done right. it for so long. I'm losing. Mm -hmm. Okay, so... Because that's so a very help. cool ass and sorry, sorry to cut you off. Like that's a no, very no, cool no, aspect, obviously, and that's why. Yeah, and I know bands are doing like very like NFT, like Avenge does NFTs, and they're very successful. I don't know anything they're about. Awesome. Yeah, yeah, they're awesome at it. They're very knowledgeable. They know what they're doing. They do yeah. great stuff. And I yeah, they're, they're very fulfillment good. Everything's great. Yeah, they're doing their thing, and they obviously can connect with a lot of their fans in a unique way, which is different than again myself. I come from the content creator world, and I hear the word NFT, and it's like the scariest thing because all you see next day in the in the news, you know, because it's the word NFT. Yeah. You're like this person does this or, you know, invest in crypto and all that. So that's why trying to get that clarification, even just myself being a fan no, I, of like, is yeah. What's... Well, I, want, I, I need to explain a couple things though. Like when, when the tier for paying comes in, if I'm not, if I'm not wrong, there may be a couple tiers. And the reason why there's a couple tiers of paying is because not everybody's going to be interested in everything. So they're not going to want to pay that. Right. So for instance, for instance, there's a spawning area. Consider it its own island. Okay. It's got two exits out into the oblivion. That's your Minecraft craft safe world free on my server. Right. Beautiful. Come on, on, okay. come on, on. Do your thing. I'll see you for the next 20 years. As long as I'm alive, I'm going to be checking out your stuff. Because even with, okay? I mean, I'm sure you guys have such a massive community. I can't even imagine the day you guys are like, hey, Slipknot community server live. Come click the, you know, come, come join. And you, I'm sure. But we're ho just... we're hoping everyone understands that, like, I'm 54 years old. Right. And I've been playing since Asteroids hit Atari. Right. I yeah. love <laughs> video games, man. I, and I, and I want to know, I'll give you the final thing at the end, but listen. Okay. So you have the, you have the free, you have the spawning areas free. You're in there. They're going to do things like parkour. Uh, you can steal, steal block from the spawning area to take it with you to your place. Right. We're going to supply you some free block. That's hard, like diamond or gold or some stuff that would take you a little bit to get just some stuff. And then there's all kinds of hidden stuff because I'm an Easter egg guy and that's gotcha. really why I play the game. Um, but <clears throat> so there's the tournaments that I'll be putting on and I can't tell you right now all the prizes. I can tell you sometimes it will be cash. Sometimes it will be tickets. Sometimes it will be merch from 25 years ago. Could be a mask, could be coveralls, could be meeting right. the band could be riding the bus with me for a day. I don't know, but it's going to be. That would be a great thing. Just, no, it's going to be yeah. it's the world I come from. It's the world I come from. It's these kinds of things. Right. I'm only doing this for my culture, man. Yeah. You know, this is this is going to be real family, this this stuff. So mm -hmm. so then. And, then, and, I, and I have a question because I, I, I know people are going to ask this too, right? I know it's passion. Go ahead. If Go ahead. That, being that intensive with that, is the any money portion at all involved? Is it just to help? Like, what, what's the purpose of the money portion is depth of fun the server thank, you know thank, like thank, thank you for that well anything worth doing it in life is worth doing for money my friend just like you're doing your podcast so we got to make that clear to all all everyone mm. in the world needs to know if you devote your time it's going to cost money and this world is a very 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 expensive world and i'm already too much in the hole and i don't care because before I leave this planet, I want to have this community. Right. Because without sounding weird, I've already made it that I live forever in it. 
you see. So That's I'm cool. nuts. With, I'm nuts with this stuff, man. <laughs> you know, so what you're about ready to contemplate, you're going to go, well, this is some, I've done some heavy things, man. And when I say community, I mean, I'm going to sign on and people are going to be by people's graves and stuff. And we're going to sit around and talk on days, birthdays and stuff. This is real deal, man. This gotcha. is like my culture. Like I'm burying people here. And fans are going to be buried here. And That's, things like the game, this I is mean, gaming way. is. I've get, the whole hey, culture man. of gaming is. I'm. It's even relating back it's to right. WoW when one of the biggest streamers passed. They like had an in-game wreckful, in-game literal oh, like funeral for the guy. You, you know, man. like why wouldn't you? Well, this yeah. is humanity. This is something we made. I want to be a part of it because I care and I love this environment. So, uh, definitely, 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 all kinds of charities every month. For instance, one of the first ones is my daughter. I've always wanted to set up my wife and I, a, a pit, an American bully, uh, uh, something, something to help rescued bullies, misunderstood breed, rescue them from fighting, things like this. That would be one uh, foundation we would set up for our daughter, for people, uh, breast cancer, uh, anything and everything that can be brought to me. I do a lot of make the wish foundation, which is, I don't like to say that I do a lot of that, but mm. we do do that. That's great. Um, and, and no, it's great. You have to do it, but I'm saying, I wish we, I wish there was no one that had to have that, you know? Mm. Um, 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 so I'm up for everything and anything. Um, we're going to do everything and anything because that's what culture is about. And then of course, the business of it you know we're we're planning on making this a conglomerate and i'm getting older and i would love to be able to retire and just play minecraft when i can on the side and, and do the kinds of things right my wife's gonna get busted hold on a second <laughs> okay no worries. they're gonna get me they're gonna get mad at me later when i tell them that that, that they were on film <laughs> So you can't you can't really see inside the house yeah oh like, i know it's yeah. just my my wife just gave me a look so i was like all right i'll move this i'll move this, no, I'll move um, this. So, <laughs> so you know number one who knows if there's even going to be any money to be made hmm. um but in order to keep the doors open it costs a lot and you know no matter what for anybody to even do this i have to hire a company to make sure it stays online right. and that everyone is safe from any harm that's done in a digital world. So that and, and that, regarding uh, that too, sorry to cut you off. I do have a question because obviously you guys community is so big and a lot of communities nowadays in the gaming space, right? Obviously are so massive and so like loyal and especially, you know, Slipknot fans are some of the most loyal fans ever, right? That yeah. the community runs them like themselves almost like they can moderate everything they can run. Have you, thought of that as an alternative and it, and if being yeah. for focused as that and it being the community. Yeah, it's gonna be, yeah. You know, I mean, absolutely. I mean, we have a big discord program coming with it. Um, it's going to, it's everything and anything you want it to be without it being anything you don't want it to be. And it's never going to be some money thing where people are upset because I don't want to divide mm -hmm. things um from our fans it's not what's happening here but what is happening is if i were to just put up a server for everyone to play in the safe space and have to have a company make sure there were no racial right. emblems logos made or uh, right. teams of people pretending to be something bullying people i have to have that that costs money i can't do that that is a literal program of people making sure it stays up away from being taken down from people and, and um, people losing their stuff. This, so we're just trying to make it as fun as possible and get everybody in. And really, if you can understand this, I was raised with business begets business. I told you very early on in the conversation i'm making it my duty to be the liaison with people who game but might not know slipknot right. so i'm going to bridge the gap to bring them from their isolation or their gaming into the reality of a show where they can sit down and i can shake their hand and give them no pressure and introduce them yeah you know and say look you might have never come here so that's important you know that's what's 
it it's all about. So what I'm saying is if if this person was playing and they had a small tier and they come, you know, I get to make maybe they buy a t-shirt that helps all of our families. Right. Um maybe they go home and tell everybody about next time they buy tickets. I don't know. What I'm just saying is I'm not worried about money with this. It's not what right. this is about. This is about behavioral health, mental health. Mm -hmm. This is about my community helping each other, being there for each other in a righteous way, Yeah, proving to each other we can take care of each other. When I did the Iowa State Fair, when Slipknot did the Iowa State Fair, which I grew up going to my whole life, the city pretty much was so worried. They, they called us the black shirts. Okay. All the black shirts were coming. Well, there wasn't any arrest, I was told, or any ambulances or no fights. I was told that our crowd was one of the most polite, best things ever. And it was beautiful. And then they had a bunch of other bands from other genres, and we won't name them because I can't bring the facts legitimately. Right. So I don't want to downgrade anyone. But let's just say there were some other genres, not metal, hard rock. And they had arrests and ambulances and fights and right. all kinds of stuff. So I like to still prove that the world can come together in my culture and help each other. And I'm going to be very proud to fly around and see everybody working together and mm -hmm. making sure we're all good and we're all talking and we get to know each other. I mean, this world already happens and I'm just taking it upon myself to make a very specific spot that isn't anything that's out right now right like you have the ability to go do all that i'm just making sure we as a community have a server where you know that everybody's on it probably has some mm -hmm. sort of love for slipknot or the culture and the music's playing right. at all times all the albums are playing you can go you know one of the things is you're going to go find the discs right. to put all your music collection together right but um I've I've held things for 25 years, t-shirts, backstage passes, plaques, masks, going to give it all away, going to give it all away to people mm -hmm. that need it and stuff. And then they can pass it on when they need it. It's right. not about money to me, but I'm telling right. you, you're going to be, you're actually going to find this hallway and you're going to go, well, I don't know, clown's weird. I'm going to go see what it goes. And then all of a sudden, <laughs> 10 minutes later, you're going to wind up and there's going to be one chest with right. one note. And there's going to be a plaque for you, yeah. you know. And, and well, and that's that creates that excitement too. As, again, as as a gamer, and that's why too, I love like the things you're mentioning too, like you know, it's for you know, mental health and all that contributes to that. And it being a community thing and it being a look into your own mind. That's why I think all those aspects are so cool and a lot of things that gaming has missed for many years. And that's why I definitely do want to ask, just even for when people ask, especially like my, my the communities and all that about when it's you hear the word that word NFT in front, it's it's scary because there's there's no can, nft yes there's no nft okay yes that's to clarify Zero. everyone yes <laughs> well i mean listen i mean we as a company we're if if we want to incorporate hmm. nfts in any way with this it would be because fans some fans love that okay but this isn't operated on nfts this is you get a server address you make sure you have the right patch from Minecraft. Right. And then you download the Minecraft thing and boom, you're in. You don't yeah. need to get MetaMask. You don't need okay. to buy an NFT. You don't have to have crypto. There, yeah. But when I said that I was making coin, I'm making a not coin. You know? Oh, okay. I, yeah. That's, it's the, making a not coin. Yeah. Just like you go to the auction house and have to pay gold yes. to get some confetti to throw up outside and it's gone. I'm going to have the same thing. Right. Currency on the you're server. Gonna go out, that's, yeah. yeah. You're going to go out. I'm going to have currency on the server right. that you're grinding for that you make like gold that you can put in your bag and take to my merch table that's and cool. say, I. Now, how does it work? Maybe you do need a MetaMask at that moment, but maybe you don't. Okay. Maybe it's Apple Pay. Maybe it's fucking PayPal. I don't know. I'm not even close to that. Gosh. What I'm letting you know right. is you don't need anything NFT to play this. You're going to get okay. an address and you're going to go play. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah, that's yes. the other thing. Because I know a lot of people do like that too, right? And that's why. But And a lot of gamers are scared. That's why I'm to clarify 
people watching to myself. No, no, no. no. Did you read something that it was that way or? I think somewhere when I was reading the, uh, what was it? The the Not Fest thing. It, it was like going towards that or like there was speculation that I had to deal with that. And that's right, well, there you go. There you got your answer right there. Speculation. That's yes. a bad word in this world. It yes. was made for bad things. Yes. I don't speculate. I you You did a podcast last night. I'm on the phone today. Right. So there's no speculations. It's just reality and truth. So what I'm saying is if you know what gold is yes. in World of Warcraft, I'm going to have not gold, right? Cool. Gold. Yes. Of some, some sort of currency that while you're in there grinding, you're either collecting or fi- I think you're going to find it. You're going to find right. it. Okay. Put it in your inventory. It's going to collect. You're going to be able to come to a show. And somehow, whether you just sign on to your, th- I don't know. We're not that far because here's what I have. All right. I have the spawning point that allows you to go, just go be. Go be and have fun. That's that's all I, I just needed to do it because we're a mess. Right. You know, like I let one friend of the family let his nephew go in and the kid's like, Where's the auction house? Where's my the <laughs> does the Ferris does the Ferris wheel move? Does right. it, why doesn't the roller coaster move? I, I'm like all the physics like, stuff. Oh, it's gonna be, you know, it's gonna be a hundred thousand dollars before I even get anywhere <laughs> with all these requests because developing is developing. developing you think they yeah. play Minecraft? Yo, you think they play Minecraft? Yeah. The developers they they don't know what right. they just develop. They're just making shit show sure, you know stuff works, but. Okay, so in the future, maybe there's some NFT stuff, but it'll only be because fans want it, and it'll be incorporated. But if you have a world, you're not going to be forced to live in an NFT world in Minecraft after playing for two years. I'm giving you my word that this isn't, you know, the reason why I left Critters is because it was an NFT thing, and it was conflicting things. Got you. Okay. I'm like, I just need my own server where we can play Minecraft, and that's what I have. Right. Well, that's the, and that's I, I'm because I'm asking you not even at, not as a musician as a fan. I'm asking you as a as a gamer. You know what I mean? Like out of pure curiosity you're, as a gamer, right? You're gonna get an address. Yeah. And as long as you have, I know I need a. I had to get a. I had to get a Microsoft account. And I had to buy Minecraft. Yes. And then I had to download a certain patch of Minecraft, an installation. Yes. Uh, currently, it was running 1.2. And that's it. That's all you need. Okay. And then you're going to sign on, and you might have to download certain things that are with the server, but you don't have to pay for it. You don't have to pay for anything. Sick. And, really cool. and the that's first cool. thing I'm going to do when I get off the phone with you is I'm going to call up the office and I'm just going to make sure I understand for the next time we talk exactly what the tiers are. But you have to understand, my friend, mm-hmm. I am not sweating money. Right. I'm not sweating those things. And that's why we just randomly put it up because I want the community to help me. When you guys come into the dome, you're going to be like, why didn't you just let me in the dome to begin with? And I'll be like, well, <laughs> there's just a million other things that need to be established like you to be allowed to go play Minecraft. Right. You might not want to come in the dome and be chased down by me. Right. You know? So does that make sense? That makes sense. No, yeah. We're just starting with the spawning, which allows you to walk out and start your new world where you never, ever even have to talk to me if you want. But I'll be there. I'll, I'll build we'll right hang. I'll come hang. We'll but we, like, we can throw yeah. some blocks, bro. Let's go. You'll be like, dude, I need to make a farm. I'll be like, this is all I know. I'll help you for an hour. We'll talk bullshit. You'll talk about music. We'll text back and forth. Yeah. Maybe we got the stuff and we're just growing down. I'll say, hey, man, I'm tired. I got to go. And believe me, listen, as long as the fans don't take advantage of that, they know me. Mm. Everyone that knows me knows me, man. Right. I talk as long as anybody wants to talk. I talk to my fans outside. It's why I can grow an ugly beard. It's because I'm not on the road right now. I don't have to wear a that's mask. A, that's a full beard, man. You got a nice beard roll on there. It's 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 filled well, out, dude. It's just Minecraft beard, man. This is the this is the magician's beard. <laughs> the magician's but, beard. But I, I'm growing a beard right now just because I'm not on the road, and we've been on the road three years, and I just thought, man, I just give myself a favor and not have to have that pressure and just right. go. But listen. Like as long as everybody the culture is cool, man, I'll I'll talk to anybody, I'll hang, but it can't be 
you know, like if everyone wants to talk, no one's going to talk. So it's like right. if everyone wants to build a farm together, everyone can freak out that I'm over here throwing block. But the point is, is I want to talk to everyone. I love that terminology, go- throwing block. That's Is that is that common? Because I, I haven't played Minecraft in a minute, but is that common terminology in Minecraft? Is that your thing when you say, I'm just throwing uh, block? I, I don't know where I picked that up, so I don't want to take credit for it. <laughs> but I just know that when I get on with my people, I'm like, let's go throw block. Let's just go through a block. And that's how I say it. Maybe it, it seems like I had to have picked that up from someone. Good... So if, if someone watched this, they'll tell me who they were. And then I'll tell you who they were that told me. Right. That's all we do is throw a block. And to be honest, when I found out that Minecraft was a giant digital circuit board to make automation. Right, right. It's it's insane. I, I, I remember I playing that when automated... it came out. And you could, <laughs> like you said, do the rails. And you're like, how is this possible? Well, I, like I watched the, I watched this kid make a machine make dirt, and it just moved. It was like boom, 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 boom. and it just made a world dirt, just grass forever. <laughs> it's probably still making it right now. Mm-hmm. I was like, this is the most incredible, underrated invention in gaming ever because they give me the rail, right. they give me the lights. They give me the signs. I can write. When you come into the dome, you're going to freak. I wrote all the signs. Mm -hmm. I laid the rail. The rail takes you everywhere. But maybe when you're on the rail and you look over the left, you're like, I think I saw something over there. You got to jump off and go over there and check it out. Right. You will not believe in a million years what I've created. Every time I take someone there, they just, even my developers, they thought they knew. And then I got them in there. And we just kept going down and then we went up and then we went out and they're like, all right, bro, we got to have a meeting. I'm like, yep, I'm lost. I'm completely lost. I'm just building an ongoing dark city movie. I come in and I just pick an area and I make something the next day. It's something else. The next day it's something else. Have you thought about street? Cause I feel like if you, have you thought about streaming this process or something like you just playing Minecraft? I feel like, no, no, we are going to stream it. Oh, we're, I'm yeah. well, when I'm on, you're going to, the way they have it worked out on my computer system and I listen, man, I can't keep up with everything. So I'm not as knowledgeable as you. I just know I have a lot of good people help me stay relevant in the digital world. Um, I have a lot of learning that I have to do to stay in touch with premier final cut pro socials are kicking my ass every day. I got to come up with something new and I'm so big bro that you can't find me. So I have a YouTube page. Oh. that I'm trying to give all the kids my stuff. You can't find it because everyone's like, hey, clown out here or clown here. So you're like, where's clowns are? You go to find me. It, my newest video that I did that I directed, mm-hmm. it's like I got like 332 views and Slipknot's got like 20 million. Right. So what I'm saying is that's another reason why I have this is so I can be with my people. Yeah. Well, because I mean, streaming is a fun way to also like, you know, obviously Discord, which you already have, which is cool. And, and of course, the Minecraft, but streaming too, like that's a fun way to interact with the community. I'm so funny. I'm way more funnier than any of you guys. <laughs> I know you are. That's, that's why I, I think you would be a good streamer, dude. <laughs> I am so brutal. I can't wait to stream with you because. Come on. We'll, we'll, I'll stream Minecraft with you, dude. I am so bad at it. I'm the worst, but I love it. Everyone's be like, he tries. He he does. He tries. Clown tries. He's doing better. You see what he did last night with the rail? He's doing better. We, we're proud of Clown, you know? So what I'm saying is they got me hooked up now on some sort of system with the server hmm. that 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 I'm playing in front of me so I can play, but there's a, a monitor above me where I can see all of you and everybody talking to me and my character, but I'm engaged in playing like right in front of me. Right. But the, the discord or the, the streaming is above me and beside me. Yeah. So it's all encompassing. I'm not good at texting and talking and all right. and throwing block. Like I get really <laughs> It's like, have you th- have you thought about like streaming even with like like Simon? I know. I by the way, I love Vended. Vended is super sick. Uh, uh, thank you. They, they are. They're on their own merit. They're, they're they did it all by themselves. I'm very proud of them. I just heard about the corn show last night. Yeah, huge congrats. Did it all by themselves and yeah, 
That kid's a Minecrafter, man. You should see the stuff he made when he was. Well, a kid. But say what you can say. That's what I'm I asking. Was... If I would love to see, are you guys ever gonna like duel like father son stream Minecraft? Like that's that's a stream right there, dude. My oldest daughter's gonna be a moderator of it. She's gonna really take over and be in charge of it and mm -hmm. like help people. And so Simon, I don't know if he's got a lot of time, but he'll come in and maybe head up one death match. He'll be on one team and I'll be on one team. Maybe we'll capture the flag and <laughs> And, you know, he knows his dad's trick, so it'd be fun. He'd be like, I don't know where my dad's hanging out. Are you like, you know, because when he comes into my world, he's like, oh, okay, okay. So when you, you, I can't wait to show you. I build stages and, man. So let me talk about a couple other things. Okay. I built a plot world. And it, I guess it could if it were going to be an NFT world, I guess the plot world would be the easiest way to do it. So okay. there's another world within it that you can, you know, forward slash go to. And what happens is you spawn and the first there's plots. They're like 51 by 51 or 52 by 52 block. And there's squares with streets and mm -hmm. it's infinite. It's just square street, square street. It's a community. Right. And the way I built it is that you are going to earn. I better start asking them what we were riffing. We've been building and riffing. Riffing is like what the final stuff is going to be. Right. Well, I think what we were riffing was that, that maybe you win a death match and the reward is you get one of these, you get a pick, a plot. You don't have to pick the one nearest the spawn. You can go 10 miles and pick one. And then you get to build whatever you want on it. No one can come in and break it or throw it unless you give permission. Mm -hmm. Someone can help you if you give permission. Right. But no one can break. And it's a and what we were gonna do is throw that up onto Discord for people to admire your build. And then others could but see, they didn't win to get in there, so they can't run around, they can only see it on Discord. So it's a way, an incentive for you to win, to right. get in there. And then I think maybe there was a conversation about we turn your thing into an NFT that you get to sell and make oh. money on. That's your own money through Slipknot potentially. And maybe a fans across the street saying, hey, I want to have this whole neighborhood for my gang, you know. And he buys the entity from you. You get the coin, you buy another one. And we're all in that world and I'm helping you learn it. And it's not so scary out there. It's in here and you understand it perfectly. Okay. Um, the reason why it would work in there is because you can't get in there unless you've won anyway. So once you win, it's yours. You get to pick a plot. And in the far future, maybe we turn that plot into an NFT for you. Okay. And that you get to sell. Like, I know I said that twice, but I'm trying to make sense of <laughs> right. it. But, but we can't even offer you that plot yet because I need people. And it, the plot is not an NFT. It really was you won, you won okay. the death match. Let's say you pay five bucks a month to get into my dome to death match. Okay. Okay. So, like, let's say a thousand people come in and everybody pays a dollar. Okay. That's going to be how I'm going to give people money on the death match. Okay. And that's why I'm making the death match be 24 hours because you're really going to earn this shit. Right. Okay. So and, and again, just to, clar over, to clarify yeah. then with that, that's more like a subscription. Again, because like a lot of people, I've played WoW too. I, I can't promise you what it's called, but yes, it's okay. some sort of subscription. Okay. Some sort of thing. Right. <laughs> I think it's hilarious. I think it's hilarious that we're doing this right now because it's like, I guess it can be that confusing. People have made it that freaking confusing. I am not making that confusing. Right. I am promising you right now that Sean Cran the Clown has bought a server mm. that I am going to let maggots and our culture be on. Right. Anybody who wants to come and learn Minecraft is going to come on and we are going to be the brother, you know, the, the world of fans who go, hi, you don't know Minecraft, but you love Slipknot. We're going to teach you. Welcome. Hi. Then there's going to be people who know Minecraft are no Slipknot that don't know Minecraft. Yes. of course. And everybody's just going to keep helping each other. That's free. 
Great. That's infinite. It's a seed that I laid down. It goes forever. That's sick. it's forever. It's forever. And that I have nothing to do with that. Um, the spawning area is free. We're going to have games in there. Parkour, uh, you know, I don't parkour, but I guess people like it. So one way to parkour is jump around, break, you know, get up here and break that diamond block and take it with you to your hut, whatever. So there's just weird things that are going on in the the, the, the spawning area that are fun. I have a, I have a tent with art. I have, you know, I sell whiskey. There's just bottles. It doesn't mean you can buy a bottle. It's just, it's all Slipknot stuff, you know? It's, right, right. That's cool. You've seen the, it's the not verse it's the not fest it's, do you do you because I, I you have so many ideas and i think it's i love the creativity i think it's very cool do you have like a master like are you a notepad dude like microsoft word where's your where's the idea list for you it's called the death star and i have about 30 notebooks just full of scribbles and shit and i got about at least 10 people that work with me wow they can't keep up with anything. <laughs> they I, I can't, can't, I can't keep up. And the only reason why they can is because they're fulfilling one thing and then I'm asking for 10 more and it just doesn't work that way. And what I've done is I personally have gotten the whole team behind by requesting things when we've needed to get it ready for people. Now, let's skip forward. Why am I doing it all now? Is we have a 25-year anniversary coming up in June. Mm. So I'm releasing the overall whole thing in june oh wow that's in order to do that and yeah but the reason is because it'll never be done bro when you get into the dome and you're capturing the flag of it you're like this is endless potential it'll right. never end as long as i live it'll never end it'll be like look the clown's in here building some crap again he can't even finish this and he's over here finishing this so june will i don't know what day in june but it will be before the actual anniversary of our album Okay. There'll be all kinds of promo in Minecraft, all kinds of things to win, show prizes. I'm mainly doing it to clean out storage. <laughs> I have drum heads and drums and outfits, and it's time, man. I've done it for 25 years, a quarter of a century. Most of us grew up in Slipknot. Right. You know, I'm blessed to do it every day I can after this, and I'm going to give it as hard of a go as I do. But when we're on a bus, we play games. When we're in the dressing room, we play games. People are doing Call of Duty. The other guys have gone on and played people in Call of Duty and stuff, but I can't move that quick. I can't mm -hmm. keep up with the graphics. It's too advanced for me. It's too, like... Too fast-paced, too much. Too, yeah. too fast. People are too good. They know too much. I'm like, duh. And all I can do is king, <laughs> you know? Right. So what I've done is I've taken all my experience from Doom, Doom 2, Wolfenstein, Quake, Unreal... Red, redneck rampage duke nukem world of warcraft all the beautiful stuff that i love i've taken everything i've learned from the auction house to mounts to rails right and everything minecraft offers and i put it all in one crazy mind of mind so when you're in there you're like this is the mind this is one of the minds of slipknot and it's it's sort of what I do in Slipknot is a lot of art, right? Not that no one else does. Everybody does their thing. Right. Um, but what I'm saying is like what I do, right? I do videos. I do album covers, things like that. So I'm hoping you'll go in there and you'll be like, I mean, I can't tell you, man, but I've. Mm -hmm. You just got to come in with me so you can tell the lovely people of the world what you saw. I would love to do that. I would. I would love to try it and see what's. Like. I haven't played. Like I said, I want to go. Where do you want to go on? You know. Well, I'm going to make it so you're an admin. Oh wow, this, gonna, this is too much power, gonna, Sean. Are you sure? No, no, no. I have all the power. So let's do it. <laughs> so what I'll do is, I'll, I'll have, I'm writing the check. What do you want? I'm writing the checks. I have all the power, right? Um, it's all good. I'm just having fun. I'm having fun. But what I, it will be too hard if you and I have to walk around. Yeah, gotcha. Uh, I'll make you a staff, and you'll fly. We'll be admin. That way I can fly you and all you got to do is double space bar, be in the air and fly around with me and I can show you things Sick. on your own merit and you'll see things and you'll, you'll want to see it. And then you can ask me questions and, all right. you know, we should make it for a couple of days. Cause I want to see if I can get the headphones so we can talk. So I don't have to text. Gotcha. Yeah. I'm not very good at texting and flying and it feels like I'm late and it doesn't feel like I'm getting anything done. So I get the headphone thing. 
uh, I we can get a lot more done. Okay, that sounds. I, I'm excited and thank you for the invite. I I look forward to it. I, I'm again. I, I grew up playing games and I played Minecraft for a bit, so I'm always like excited just to see what's going on. And maybe I, maybe you have a friend that likes to play. We'll invite them, him or her too. Maybe maybe one of the fans wants to join us. Y'all, you just everyone in chat is gonna go crazy. Me, me, me. There you go. Yeah. Uh, well, I'll tell you what. Why don't you offer someone? Why don't you offer someone? on your end of what you do with your world. Okay. Offer something that you feel good and I'll offer them flying in with you and I. Um, um, but uh, they have to actually love the game and play it and know it to understand what I'm going to show them. And then they could be the liaison of the community to go back and start telling people what they saw. Hmm. So it's very important for me after your podcast last night, just to spread a little bit more knowledge on it. And I'm really I told the office earlier, I need everybody to know it's a great big mess. But the reason why it's a mess is because I need the community to help me very quickly get it ready for June. Mm -hmm. So the whole world can come in and then I can start offering cash prizes and masks and secret appearances and dinner with your grandma and like the whole deal, man. I want to have a good time, bro. My wife and I want to come to your house as long as your grandma makes authentic food and we can eat it. My grandma makes Slavic food. You want like some like... Uh, oh, yeah. We want to come and we want to watch her make it. Cabbage rolls, bro? Like cabbage rolls, pierogies? Pierogies, absolutely. My wife and I will come to your house as long as your grandma's making it. Okay, I'll, yeah, we'll get her over. And we can watch her and see her little riz on it. You know, she's like, I like to turn it up just a little bit more. Okay. You know, and I'll be like, ooh, we got a little heat going. And then we sit down. Say a little prayer our way to be thankful and blessed for being able to eat in a hard world. Yeah. Show our fans, introduce some culture. That's what I want to do on the way out of all this. You know, man, I love to perform and I love to play and that's not going to stop. But I like to give uh -huh. back and I've been given so much, man. I've been given so much. I want to really get back on the uh mm -hmm. I'm proud to say I was in an outpatient program and saved my life after Paul Gray passed which was only a little bit after my father had passed and i hadn't grieved my father and then paul had passed and my wife was in a hospital and i just had no time to understand how to do anything things like this are what help you you know gaming right. and imaginations other people's creative outlooks to just get me locked in for a little reward and grinding and feel good and be in a car and a crappy ride, but thinking about what I made to help me with that ride. It's a wonderful world and I want to do it. So I'm proud to say that I know everyone, you know, COVID really did a number and I want to help as best I can. Um, and I just think I'm going to give a space. When we first started, I remember fans telling us we would take riffs of songs we were working on mm -hmm. And we would start, we would loop them like measure two to measure three instead of one to two, right? So it was out of context. Right. So you'd be like, I, this is familiar, but I don't know what it is. And it's because we mess with it. But I remember kids telling me, fans telling me that after school that they would just go in their room and like just get that loop going and like do their homework with like this possibility in the back of their head. And the possibility was our possibility of what we might create, but then their imagination would run because there was no vocals. It was just a loop of guitar and drums and bass. Right. So they were thinking about, I'm going to go mow the lawn and then I'm going to watch this show and then I'm going to call my girlfriend or something. So I re always remembered that, that we could create space that you could be with us, even if we couldn't be with you. And what's so great about this space is you could just be playing and turn around, and there I am. Mm -hmm. I'll be like, what's up? Planting corn? You know, like, <laughs> what, what are you doing? You know, like, mm -hmm. I mean, that's how cool this is, is that I can just... You're going to have a corn with, like, the band reference I when can, you're planting corn, yeah. though? you got to have all, that. All kinds of friends play, man. I'll have friends in there. Mm -hmm. I'll have peers in there. There's a, all of us play, man. It's not embarrassing. It's like, it's like when you're a metalhead and people are like, think you know you can't say you like beethoven it's like we all like all beethoven kinds of goes hard it's it's yeah, man. if he was well, alive today he would play metal that's a fact come on let's be still real. can't do what he does right right yeah. you know so it's like there's nothing really funny about this it's random you know but it's really 
it's a way of kind of connecting a dot for me in my life that I've done for a long time. And honestly, I've wanted to make a video game with us in it forever, but it's just so much money. But I know that once my community comes here and then all the, you know, the smart shoes come in, they'll be like, why don't we play, make a video game? And I'll be like, I already got it. Already got it. It's It's done. I mean, it's cool that you want clown to have a baseball bat and this, but this is just as good, man. We're building cities up in here. Do you do you have a baseball bat instead of a mining pick, though? Um, I don't now, but we're like I said, I've recreated some stuff. You're gonna freak out on. I have gone very over and beyond to create a new experience. So you're going to see things that are familiar, but are different. Mm -hmm. And then I know coding. So I know how to mash the mathematical equations to mash up some other mathematical equation that's doable because it's just math and it's what's built in. Minecraft gives you the ability of what they allow. And as long as you're in the realm of what they allow, you can change all of it. Right. That's cool. So for instance, you know, one block has one skin. Another block has another skin. Yeah. So you can tell this block to be two skins because it can already be a skin. Right. That makes sense. I'll just tell it to be another skin. So you could take a gold and take one, possibly one side of a gold block and make it a diamond. Mm-hmm. You have a gold and a diamond block. Possibly. Okay. I like that's, See what I'm that's, saying? That's, it's just, just Java. Do you have a you favorite block? What's your what's your favorite? Uh, you have to pick. Right now, I'm I I just thought I like what the game can do, and I like the fact that crying obsidian has it has a glow. Okay, and then it drips, so it's a multiple used block, mm-hmm. a mathematical bot that is moving. That was pretty cool. It's a, it's a math, mathematical equation in the computer world working, and then when you have a thousand of them and they're dripping, mm-hmm. you're really pushing some numbers so i like i like that block but i also like the i just think it's cool that you think you know how blocks can go together but then all of a sudden somebody comes in and puts a different combination and the block you hate it becomes your favorite block yeah you know i love i love the my the first thing my developers did was destroy my rail (laughs) that's the first thing they did I didn't use torches or a redstone block. Every block was redstone and every block was gold rail. Mm. And they're like, bro, it's just too much. So they destroyed it all. And then I rebuilt it all. Right. And getting into sharding where we can make it easier for the server to load. So I stopped all production on the visuals to go in and make sure I could have a railroad railroad system that of complete insanity. Right. So the game already has so much automation. I have things making gold. I've, you know, it's just, it, it's so fascinating. Wait until everybody comes in. You're going to just flip out. People can be finding like the first song sick and put it in their chest in their jukebox and tell each other, mm-hmm. I just got the whole album I've been grinding for a month. I finally found tattered and torn in some weird building down the street. That's cool. Yeah. You know, just, Anything you can think of, I'm going to do, man. So it's, uh, but it's all for us. It's not for anybody else. Okay. It's just for the culture. And if, and if you like it any other way, you're going to come in, but you know, you'll be slowly phased out hmm. if you're not one of us, because we'll just make it impossible. And I'm not talking about you. I'm just talking hmm. about the world in general. Right. You know, we just want, well, we're going to be blocking. So I th- I'm, I'm fine. We're going to be blocking it up, bro. When do you want to block? I'm just let me know, man. Send me send me the maybe, DM uh, when we're gonna block. We'll block it up. Maybe let's use all of tomorrow to get it done, and then maybe we'll do it Friday, Friday or Saturday. But I'll have uh, the office call you. Okay. And they'll give you right for now. You just need a Microsoft account and Minecraft. I have that. Minecraft. I already got it. You're in, man. We're good. To, in. We're good to block, man. I'm gonna let you build something in my dome. You're gonna be the first outsider. To be able to build some, so you better practice up on your skills. I don't know what to, this and, is too much pressure. So what am I going to build? It's got to be good. It's the first outsider thing to. Oh, build. I'm going to give you an area. You're not going to get much. Oh, I'm going to okay. give you. A no, I'm going to. You're going to be able to make a. 
you know, it, you'll be able to come back to it. You're not going to have a time limit. You'll like, be able like to how many back. blocks, square footage, block footage are we are we talking? I, I'll give you, I'll give you something minimally thirty by thirty. Okay. You know, thirty. You know, at least, but probably something more like fifty-one by fifty-one, something decent. You're not going to be able to go down, but you can go up. We can go up. That's fine. But you can only go so far up because I've capped it. Ah. Uh, yeah, go in. It's called a dome for a reason. That's ah. Of course. Yeah. Well, well, Son, I know you're busy, dude, and thank you. I've never in my life talked with somebody about Minecraft for an hour and a half, but I'm I'm happy to do so. So I appreciate you coming on the show. Let's keep it random. Yeah. Let's just let's keep, let's keep surprising everybody with most random yeah. conversation. But I, I honestly, before we go, I just want to let everybody know, like, look, this hmm. is something I'm doing. But I I, it, you know, you use the Slipknot name because. You know, we want to share in music and, and stuff. And I want people that game to come to shows. And right. I love it if the guys come in, there's space for them. And it's all of ours. I did it for all of us, you know. And it, it seems like a real awkward thing and a real strange mm -hmm. thing. But you need to know that I've watched all four of my kids throw block, build the most beautiful <laughs> things. Word. They still have their stuff. They still, we still look at it. Right. And Simon will, uh, you know, Vended will have their world. I'll, I'll probably have them That's do an cool. in sports signing where they'll come in with their characters. Everybody sign on and talk to them in the digital space and get T-shirts, whatever, whatever we can come up with, we're going to do. Hmm. It's always been loose on fun, man. It's never been a money thing. And the only reason why money ever came up is because you can't get a server without buying it or, you know, right. paying for it. Or a thing, so I'm already a lot into it. It doesn't matter. I'm having a good time, and I think when everybody sees my dome, and everyone right now knows that the dome is created for capture the flag, mm -hmm. death match mainly. It's going to be an ongoing thing. Like I'm going to have a 31 day death match, That's and I'm only going to let so many people in it. And yes, you're going to have to pay to get into it, but it's not going to be like something you hate. Mm -hmm. It's not like, hey, I need $10,000. So we're not talking any of these crazy. I, brother, I don't know what other gamers do. I don't know what other streamers do. I don't belong to any of it. Right. I don't have time. I devote all my time to gaming into what I'm creating, and that's all I do. I don't play World of Warcraft anymore because I don't have time. It's... I don't play Quake. I don't play Doom. All these throwbacks. <laughs> All I'm doing is Minecraft and I'm making it so I can play. The last thing I want to tell you is I've made a, I've made my own. So I've made it that if you came on and you were prejudiced, I could just destroy your account immediately. Like you were a memory. <laughs> I have a keystroke of keystrokes <laughs> right there. You will disappear, get a <laughs> refund and you'll be gone for life. It's, it's that quick. Yeah. In front of everyone, you'll be gone. It'll be that. It'll be keystroke. Do, 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 do. It'll be Done. a big thing. You'll be buried. And I created a jail. Oh. I have a jail that someone made as a schematic a long time ago. Oh, I brought it in. Okay. It's funny because we joke that we think the jail is going to be too small. And it's huge. Hmm. But the way the jail is, is once you're in it, you can't get out. So once your character isn't up to any good and you're not part of what we are, which is love your account's gone and your character will always be in there for people to look at as an example. Mm -hmm. We got to have a brotherhood here, man. We got to do good. We got to help each other in this ongoing world. That's complicated. And I want to live by example. And I know it's hard. This world is hard. And if it's hard for you, come join us and maybe we can help. Maybe, mm -hmm. maybe. So, um, I've created a console for me, lightning, earthquakes, glass pigs. I got stuff, man. So mm -hmm. it's going to be a lot of fun, fun when clown shows up because clown can only do things that clown can do that no one else can do. Mm -hmm. And it's amazing what I, what I programmed. It's fun. I'm and I give people the ability. Like you can earn this ability to strike people down with lightning. Right. <laughs> oh, okay. can I earn that? Like my, is that yeah, everyone's going to, I'm not going to be the only one forever to be able to strike people down with lightning. Okay. But Good. you know, we're going to, we're going to make things happen. And it's uh it's a very interesting world. 
and it wouldn't be possible if it wasn't for that great game. And they just made something that has really been beautiful for everyone. And I just, I want to help. I want, cause you know, Minecraft, like you can get bored because like you love it so much. Hmm. You're like, yeah. I got to go over here and I'll do this. And you're like, but I'm just still, you know, so I'm trying to make it where you get to throw block, do all your things, but have some music involved and feel like you're getting tangible fulfillment. You're like, this t-shirt actually came in the mail. Right. Wearing it while I'm playing. That's cool. While clown is streaming and we're making fun of him because he's horrible. He's so what's it? What's your, do you already have a Twitch account or what are you going to call it? What, what's, do you have a name for it? Yet? I do. Oh, this is how dumb I am. That's how I'm going to do it. Twitch. I forgot. That's it. Okay. That's, Twitch. that's what it is. Uh, one of my assistants has it hooked up. I do. I'll have it to you by the time we throw a block. I've never been on it, <laughs> Love but they've word. set it up. They set it up. So that's the world. But to, to get this all store, started, I just need to ask for the alpha. I got it. Right. And to explain that a little bit too, I wanted to let you know the the other one, I wanted to hire some people to come in and build for me, but we were they were suggesting that these alphas that will come in, we will. We'll find two, three people that are serious builders, and then I can talk to them and say, Hey, are you enjoying this? They'll be like, Love it. And I'll be like, come and help me build so we can get this up in June. So that was another reason is to, to to get introduced to some real people that love this and maybe they'll acknowledge it that they're having a good time and want to help and then I can get further along instead of because right now it's like me and three people just cleaning it up and closing it up and making sure every that it's that it's understandable. But you know how the nether is, it's just like all this falling yeah. apart stuff. That's what my dome is. You're mm -hmm. just going to be like, what's in here? Mm -hmm. and you're like, whoa, is this a different server? Like, it's just insanity. It's too much. Imagine me being online for four years, minimally eight hours a day to where I could prove it. Anyone that knows me will prove it. They will tell you. Right. Because I have, I barely sleep. So I do it late at night. Uh, eight hours a day for four years, let's just say, make it two years. Mm -hmm. What do you think I could create in two years, nonstop, eight hours a day? A lot. a lot a lot so that's what I, that's what you're gonna see sounds good man well thank you so much again for coming to talk about this i i can't wait to throw a block with you i think it'll be uh it'll be fun we'll see what we can build um you know definitely we'll make sure the that gma's got pierogies heated all up and ready to go and some any any I, any I requests that. she's you, she's ukrainian any well, ukrainians back well you know? i'm glad that you asked what what it is is hmm. this my i my wife and I are older and she's got some ailments, some, you know, hmm. some things. Um, so we're vegan. Okay. Vegan. Uh, we, well, no, 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 no. We're, you know, we're, once in a while I got to start eating some fish and things because I just get weak. Okay. And um, I do all I can. But what I would say is we, we want to do this and then we want, you know, everyone at your family to come to the show and be my guest. And let me return the favor after we eat, you know, so I'm going to come over, film it, hopefully, and uh, let everyone know culturally what we did. The only thing is I just need to know a little bit of what we might eat so it doesn't interrupt what she has going on gotcha. for her health. But we're we pretty much can make everything work. OK, we'll figure it out. So, we'll figure it out. There's a lot no, of no, no, easy. Grandma will love it. She'll be like, I got this. <laughs> That's, well, that's exactly yeah. how my grandma was. And I can't wait. I, I, my grandma was the best cook and my, my, uh, my wife's mom. And, you know, we just, we love, we love food and culture. And we like to hear stories about how, you know, you'll get to those cultural stories. You know, when I was a kid, we would sit by the ocean and, and I want fans to hear that. Right. And I want to do my part, bringing everybody together in a world that's got a lot of war Mm. And a lot of misunderstanding and a lot of BS. And I want to be an advocate of rock and roll, knowing no skin color, right. not being driven by, you know, money or religion or anything. You know, it's just, uh, you know, those things are all things of these mm. planets. I have no right to talk about any of them. Mm -hmm. I'm just saying I can do my part. To have the church of the knot where everyone and anyone is accepted That's for right. any reason under under god music god energy 
you know, just the vibration of music. So that's all I'm doing, man. I appreciate you last night having a moment and no problem. I'm here to pick it up and make it. I, I care about what my, our fans think. Right. Well, I know, well, so well, speaking of fans too, if you don't, cause I've, I've had this question a million times and it's related to both Slipknot and Minecraft. Yeah. So yeah let's see. If, if and it is the new Slipknot drummer, drummer Enderman. Enderman. That's a really good guess. It's just that Enderman stares too much. Ah, uh, he's not going to he focus. Right. Yeah, there's no focus. What I can tell you is, in about one hour, I'm on my way to practice. Okay. Oh, oh, okay. Uh, there we go. Yeah. There we go. That's well, all. everyone. I can say there's a big, big old smile on my face. And it's not, there's no drama in my life, man. All I'm right. just living. You know, I'm just living. I'm happy to be alive. I'm even more happy to be able to still perform and play music. Mm -hmm. I'm even more blessed to be relevant with a bunch of great guys. And really why I told you is I'm just proud because I know fans are watching you. I'm just proud to tell all them right now that, yeah, in about an hour, I'm going to rehearsal. There you go. That's that's for all y'all chat. There we go. Well, everyone, again, Sean Gran of Slipknot Clown, the man, the myth, the legend. Sean, thank you so much for coming to hang, bro. I appreciate it. And I look forward to throwing block, man. Let's let's do it up. Let's let's throw some serious block and let's uh let's help everybody. Hey man, thanks a lot last night for just taking some time to pull it out the ether. And I just did the same thing today because it matters to I don't want anybody confused and I, I think it's get everybody on page and let's have some fun and let's make some loot throw some block throw some block make some castles take down enderman whatever <laughs> sounds good Sean. thank you so all much right. man have a beautiful day and yeah we'll throw a block soon yeah, all right everybody be safe out in this world we'll see you soon see you dude have a good one bye I've never talked to someone about Minecraft for an hour and a half, but let's go.